permettez-moi de vous féliciter pour cette réalisation remarquable qui... Why do you talk that way C'est du langage soutenu, c'est chic. Non, 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 nobody talks like that. Ok, let me explain. Bonjour tout le monde, I'm Cassie, your French tutor, so you can discover France the French way. And now is the perfect time to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel already if you want to be able to adapt to all situations when speaking French. In the French language, there are three registers. Familier, courant, soutenu. So let me tell you everything about them, the different situations in which we use them. And I even prepared a quiz in this video just for you. So are you up to the challenge? T'es prêt? On y va. Okay, registers. Fine. But what are they? Donc, qu'est-ce que c'est? Okay, let me tell you. But before, just picture that. When you talk to your best friend or when you talk to your boss, I guess you adapt your language, right? The way you speak is not exactly the same. The words you choose are not exactly the same. That's exactly what we're talking about here. So depending on the situation, the context, if you're close to the person or not, you're going to adapt the way you speak. The register you pick may also vary depending on your social background, your age, your education, all that. And sometimes if you want to make sure that people don't really know about you, you may want to hide that. So that's why it is important to know how to adapt and use all three registers. So in French, we have le registre familier. To be fair, that's the one I use the most. So it is the one that you use with close friends, avec tes amis, avec tes potes. Maybe with your family, if you feel close to them or if you feel at ease, comfortable with them. Then you have courant, which is like everyday French. Really what you see on TV most of the time, how people speak, like it is the most neutral one. And then we have soutenu. Donc soutenu is like more sophisticated, educated, fake. <laughs> so again, they just help you to adapt to the situation, the circumstances and the context. Now let's dive deeper. I was telling you my favorite one, the one I use the most, maybe because, you know, we're close now, you and I. Not that close. <laughs> so the one I use the most is familier. So it's really when you feel comfortable with someone, it is the one you use with your friends, maybe your family, if you're okay with them. Like really people in your close social circle. Let's call it that. By using le registre familier, you will probably use slang a bit. Um, that's when you shorten the words or you know, you, you also contract. Remember, we talked about it. <laughs> so for example, je ne sais pas will become je sais pas. That's typically du langage familier. Another one, another example, instead of asking, est-ce que tout va bien? Is everything okay? You could ask, tout roule? This one, I don't use it myself, but that's something you can hear and it is definitely du langage familier. Then we have le langage courant. Okay, courant, it is the most common one. So if you don't know which one to use, maybe if you don't feel comfortable with slang, though it is very fun to use. And it helps to sound more like natural and, and more like a native. Um, if you don't know, you want to remain as neutral as possible, go with courant. So that's the one you're going to use with, I don't know, your colleagues, uh, maybe, you know, not so close friends, like tes potes. Uh, to be fair with mes potes, I also use familier. So let's say with your acquaintance, acquaintances, you heard me. Anyway, so it is like very neutral. Um, for example, est-ce que ça va? Instead of, oh, tout roule? Like really what you learn in textbook, grammar books, all that. Another example, that's what you will use with your neighbors or even at your bakery for your croissant. Bonjour, est-ce que je pourrais avoir un croissant, s'il vous plaît? Vocabulaire courant, langage courant. To be fair, you can't go wrong with that one. 
And then, the third level, let's say, it is du langage soutenu, le registre soutenu. So it is way more sophisticated, educated. So for example, um, in politician speeches, maybe you're gonna hear that also in literature. So in written French, we tend to use like more complex words taken from le langage soutenu. So in books, but also emails, if you want to seem extra polite, for example, you send your resume and your cover letter, in the email, you're probably gonna write that way. Or if you want to, I don't know, impress someone during a, a very fancy dinner, maybe with your in-laws, happened to me, <laughs> and you're, you really want to show the best version of yourself, maybe you're going to pick a few words from this register. Though, if it is spoken French, if it is in a conversation that you have, you know, a live conversation, I wouldn't recommend you use this one because it can be a bit too much. So let me give you a few examples. When you send a cover letter and resume, sometimes, most of the times, we still do that, you end your email with um, Je vous prie d'agréer, madame, monsieur, à l'expression de mes salutations distinguées. That, you don't say that to your friends, okay? It, it, it's just weird. And even when you try to translate word by word, it's just too much. It is a mouthful. But it looks like, you know, highly educated and fancy and all that. For example, instead of saying, je ne peux pas dire, whatever you cannot say, je ne puis dire. Like, that's weird. <laughs> so let's be honest. Most of French people don't use that or just, you know, we pick a word here and there. Um, but when we do, it sounds super chic, don't you think? N'importe quoi, you just sound like an ass. All right, and now it is quiz time, as I announced at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to give you five sentences and you will try to guess to which register they belong. Donc familier, courant ou soutenu. You will also find in the description of the video a free PDF on which I wrote the three versions of each sentence. So, in the three registers. It's all there. Okay, t'es prêt? Je peux pas, j'ai du taf. Je peux pas, j'ai du taf. You probably noticed the contraction and taf, which is a slang word. I mean, I wrote it for you. So, it is familier. Definitely familier. Ensuite, je te remercie pour ton aide. Je te remercie pour ton aide. That is normal French. Courant. Neutral. Just like you will learn it. Ok? Donc courant. Je pars en vacances la semaine prochaine. Je pars en vacances la semaine prochaine. Again, it is like neutral, normal French. It is courant. Du langage courant. Je suis au regret de vous annoncer que je ne puis accepter une telle offre. Je suis au regret de vous annoncer que je ne puis accepter une telle offre. You probably guess it because I cannot even pronounce that sentence seriously. It is soutenu. Que je ne puis accepter. It's an old form of French. It doesn't really exist anymore. Well, it does in a way, but not really. You get me. Et la dernière, last sentence. T'as capté quelque chose? T'as capté quelque chose? Again, contraction and slang. It is familiar, for sure. So tell me in the comment section, what is your score? I want to know if you guessed all five sentences or not. And you can also give this video a thumbs up if you learned something or you just like the quiz. But don't stress out if it is confusing for you, you don't really know or you think there is too much vocabulary to learn. It's okay. French is not your mother tongue, so nobody expects that you speak soutenu or you know you, you can fully adapt to all three registers. Though it is fun if you use a bit of slang, let's be honest. Or if you use like a super fancy word, also fun. So people will be understanding and nice. And if you want to dive a bit more into 
the registre familier and learn about Verlan, I recommend you watch this video next. Et à la semaine prochaine. Salut